My name is John Bennett, and the subject is homeopathy, the persecuted Jew of modern Nazi fascist medicine. This is a response to one of our persecutors, a professor of neurology at Yale by the name of Stephen Novella. Stephen Novella has devoted a substantial part of his blog, which he calls Neurologica, to statements I made in a video about the flaming hypocrisy of the anti-homeopathy movement, which is being funded by the large pharmaceutical interests that are threatened by it. Stephen Novella's reaction is a classic example of what I'm talking about in that he is at a total loss, total loss for words when confronted with the scientific studies done by his colleagues that show the action of homeopathics on non-human subjects, non-human subjects because it has always been the theme of the anti-homeopathy movement that because of its impossibility, whatever positive results are shown in clinical trials of homeopathic pharmaceuticals are merely the result of the placebo effect or its incompetence or dishonesty. Pick one of the three. But the placebo hypothesis for homeopathy is demolished by demonstrations of the action of homeopathics on plants, animals, and non-human subjects, so, such as bio, biochemistry. So I've listed references to numerous studies reporting on the action of homeopathics on plants. Plants are good for tests because they make economical test subjects, don't pose any ethical problems or require special equipment or skills to test, and they show clear dramatic results on any number of individuals. Homeopathic botanical tests then are the nuclear option for this argument and Stephen Novella has just been nuked. Of course he won't admit it. He, he'll just uh, keep walking and talking like a zombie and he and his little circle jerk at the New England Skeptical Society will pretend it was never said. He didn't say it. So Stephen Novella spends 2,000 words talking about me, my favorite subject, in his blog, but he doesn't say one word, not one word, about the dozens of botanical tests that have been done for homeopathy that clearly show the action of these substances. He will never have anything, nothing, reasonable to say about it. Can't, of course. He doesn't have anything to say about his own field because he doesn't really know anything about that either. If he did, he wouldn't be wasting his time on what other people think or on something that he truly believes to be nonsense. No, he's threatened by this. If, if he did know something about his own chosen field, he would be actively treating people who have neurological diseases, like Alzheimer's. What, what has Novella got in his patent medicine doctor's bag for that? Huh? Or any neurological condition? Nothing! Not a damn thing. He doesn't have any medicine. He just has poison. Oh, 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 he'll spend all day telling us what doesn't work. But can he tell us what does? He doesn't know what works. He, knows that, he does know that the crap he peddles doesn't work. All he knows is how much money he can make peddling the hope that it does. He doesn't want to cure anyone of, of Alzheimer's. He just wants to stand around and pose as, as someone who might help you. If you have enough money, if he has enough time. You know, this, this guy should be as far away from medicine as possible. He's better suited or, or unsuited to be an underwear model at Macy's. Not a doctor, not even an academic doctor, not even a phony doctor. Now I call upon the regents of Yale to get this man off their stage or share the heat he is invoking here with all of this bad-mouthing of his, all of his ranting and his, his quibbling and his caviling. You know, how dare this, this man ridicule and try to discredit my feeble attempts to save my mother of an insidious disease with the use of safe and hopefully effective medical treatments in the face of the contraindications of his medical crap. 
the med so-called medicine he peddles that, that show how, these contradic contraindications show how destructive it is. When, when this, his medicine is the third leading cause of death in his country, medical mal malpractice, third leading cause of death in the United States, medical malpractice, which makes use not of homeopathy, oh no, but patented petrochemically synthesized poisons that do more harm than good. I mean, just read the contraindications of his crap. No wonder he doesn't have any patience. He wouldn't, you know, he knows, he knows. Not only is his medicine ineffective for a host of neurological conditions, it is murderous. It is mass murder. It's genocide. It's the American Holocaust. That's what this is all about, see. Navala is you know, just trying to cover up his own medical malpractice by diverting attention to the faults of others. Diverting attention away from his own to the faults of others. This has been a well-funded campaign to destroy the mental and physical health of an entire nation for the purpose of doing nothing more than profiting the people that are doing it. Misery making. Monetary mi misery making. The monetization of misery. Stephen Novella is blindly attacking the work of his colleagues, work that demonstrates the effectiveness of homeopathy, such as that of Nobel Prize winners Luke Montanier, Brian Josephson, renowned physicists such as Rustam Roy and William Tiller, and countless other uh, scientists. I'll post many of the links in the descriptive field of this video. And now, if this is slander, then Mr. Novella, give us a reasonable answer to the question. Stephen Novella. Prove to us this isn't persecution on your part. If homeopathics are placebos, then why do they have action on non-human subjects? Why does homeopathy stimulate, stimulate the growth, for example, of wheat? Studies done at the University of Bologna in Italy. Why, why are your colleagues finding biochemical indices for the action of homeopathics on non-cellular systems, cultured cells, basophils, and neutrophile granule sites? How does, how does Stephen Novella explain that?